This is a quote, my favorite quote from Marx from German ideology. For as soon as the distribution of labor comes into being, each man has a particular exclusive sphere of activity which is forced upon him and from which he cannot escape. He is a hunter, a fisherman, a herdsman, or a critical critic, and must remain so if he does not want to lose his means of livelihood. While in communist society, where nobody has one exclusive sphere of activity, but each can become accomplished in any branch he wishes, society regulates the general production and thus makes it possible for me to do one thing today and, and another tomorrow, to hunt in the morning, fish in the afternoon, rear cattle in the evening, criticize after dinner, just as I have a mind without ever becoming a hunter, fisherman, herdsman, or critic. So I like this quote because it expresses the kind of utopian idealism that Marx had. But what I particularly like about it is it in some ways jumps ahead into the future, imagines a society in which people are not stuck in one job, but can do multiple things and kind of express all of their interests uh, during the day, the week, instead of being cramped in an office. And in some sense anticipates uh, some of the more emancipatory aspects of modern or postmodern society in which we have become, uh, for many of us, though not everyone, but untethered from the workplace, from the office, uh, able to telecommute, for instance, but also able to do a variety of different kinds of professions, not only across a lifetime, but even within a year or even within a, a week, and yet also exploring our passion uh, perhaps as a fisherman, perhaps as a herdsman, perhaps as a critical critic. So this is a, the new society. There's still, of course, alienation of labor, but we do get a glimmer of what Marx was, was seeing back in the 19th century. Very interesting how his utopian kind of understanding of labor has, to a certain extent, been realized today, or at least we can, we can see a glimmer of it in the future.